here. We'll talk with him in just a minute. This Great is today job, on NBC. Clay Aiken made a name for himself in the American Idol competition, but now he's taken on a very different kind of challenge as a UNICEF ambassador. Clay recently took a trip to war-torn Afghanistan to observe UNICEF's educational efforts in the country, and Clay joins us now. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. This was your first time there. What were some of your impressions? Um, you know, one of the things that I brought back more than anything is just really uh, kind of broke down stereotypes. Um, we see so much negative mm. right. on, on TV now about Afghanistan, and the people who we met were absolutely warm and the most hospitable I've ever met. Um, and, and there's really a lot of promise in that country that we really don't get the opportunity to see. I have a friend whose medical school was burned down by the Taliban, and she, as a medical student, was practicing as a doctor, and she said, Kabul has changed so much. Come now. It, there's really a lot of growth. Did you find that when you were in Kabul? Well, I mean, without having anything to compare it to, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, you know, it's, it, was, it was far... But you must see good sides that do. we don't necessarily see. I mean, you, you, we really did. I mean, the people, like I said, were very hospitable, and there's a lot of pride in that country, and I said while I was there that, that there's so much human capital there, and the people mm -hmm. there really want to learn, mm -hmm. and they really want to, to do as best for their country as they can. They wanna, they're want they ready for that re, the rebirth. And what do, they, what do they still need there? Um, you know, I think one of, um, one of the biggest, uh, one of the most important things that I saw is access to education. There are now six million children who have, who have enrolled in school this year, up from a few hundred thousand okay. right after the Taliban fell. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that when there's not access to education, that's when parents have to send their kids to madrasas and when parents and, and they kind of become a breeding ground for terrorists. So um, so sending kids and being able to access education, uh, UNICEF helps with that. It kind of it kind of worked for us as well. You were a former teacher and obviously the the amazing story about the post Taliban Afghanistan is young women who are able mm. to go back into the classroom now and you saw some examples of that. Yeah, right? we did. I saw some some 40-year-old women who who mm. didn't had still not learned to read were walking an hour to get to class. There's just really a thirst for education there. Kind of I took my high school uh, social studies teacher with me and she was very jealous because the kids in the kids in Afghanistan want to be in school. They want to learn and right. you know, we don't not see to say that the kids here don't, but well, they really <laughs> appreciate yeah. it there. They definitely right. appreciate but it. But what a great yeah. gift for you to be able to do this. It's really amazing right. work. Good organization. Clay, thank you very much. Still to come on today, what to buy